Hello friends, today we are going to discuss our next topic that is Hesse diagram. This topic is a very important topic, okay. So this Hesse diagram is a graphical representation of a poset. Poset means partial order set, we already discussed about this topic. So to represent or to give a graphical, graphically uh, we use a Hesse diagram to represent the poset. This Hesse diagram is also known as ordering diagram or we can say this Hesse diagram gives that uh, how a poset or how the element of a poset uh, follow the order or in which order the which element come first and then next and then next. Okay. So this Hesse diagram is a graph gives a graphical representation of a poset. So there are certain steps to be followed to draw a Hesse diagram for a particular poset. So the, the steps or we can say the procedure to draw the Hesse diagram is, the first step is that we have to start with a digraph of a poset means uh, we have a uh, given poset or we can have a partial order set. So for that set first we have to draw the digraph, digraph means a directed graph. Now, Second step is that we have to remove the loop or you can say self loop from each vertex. This self loop or loop means that we have to remove the reflexivity property means 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 3 comma 3, 4 comma 4 and so on. Now the third step is that remove all the edges that must be present because of transitivity. Transitivity means if x related to y, y related to z, then x related to z. So we have to remove this edges that should that gives the transitivity property. Now the fourth step is that we have to arrange each edge so that all arrow point upwards. So after removing the reflexive property or transitive property, now we have to arrange all the edges that uh, that point upwards. And last that we remove all the arrow heads and we represent the, all the nodes with a point. So we take one example and construct the Hesse diagram with the help of this procedure. Okay. So for example, we have a question that we have to construct the Hesse diagram for a set that in having an element 1, 2, 3 and uh, the relation is less than or equal to. So for this four set, first of all, we have to construct R means the relation. Okay. So the relation is that all these elements having a less than or equal to sign. So first uh, 1 comma 1, if I am taking 1 comma 1, this means that 1 is A is A and B, this means that if either A is less than B or either A equals to B. So if I am taking 1 comma 1, then it, can, uh, it satisfies the condition that 1 equals to 1. So R is 1 comma 1, okay, then 2 comma 2. 3 comma 3. Now next pair, next combination is 1 comma 2, 1 is less than 2, yes, so 1 comma 2, then next pair is 1 comma 3, means 1 is less than 3, yes, so okay. Now the next pair is 2 comma 3, 2 is less than 3, yes. Uh, no other pair will be uh, exist in this R because the relation R is less than or equal to. So with the help of this relation or this with this condition, we prepare the R. Now the first step is we have to construct the digraph for this relation R. So first step is digraph. So for the digraph, we have a three nodes one, two, and three. So one first pair is one comma one means this is self loop. Second pair is 2 comma 2, third pair is 3 comma 3. Now the next pair is 1 comma 2, so there is an edge from 1 to 2. Then next edge is 1, 1 to 3 and the last edge is 2 to 3. So this is the first step that we have to draw the diagram for the partial order. So we construct the partial uh, diagram. Now, now the second step remove the self loop from each vertex. So the second step is remove self loop from each vertex or you can say 
remove reflexive property. So after removing the uh, ref, uh, self loop, the graph look like this. Uh, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 3 and 2, 2, 3. Okay. So this is the second step. Now the third is remove all the edges that must be present because of transitivity. Transitivity means if we uh, means like this, if 1 is related to 2, okay, and um, 2 is related to 3, this gives 1 related to 3. So I have to remove this edge. So the third step is remove transitive relation. transitivity relation. So, uh, according to this diagraph, we have only one edge that gives a transitive relation that is 1 comma 3. So, uh, our graph look like 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 2 edge remains same. Okay. 2, 2, 3 edge remains same. And we have to remove this 1, 2, 3 because this gives a transitive property. Now the next step is arrange all edges so that all arrow point upwards. So the next step is arrange all edges in such a manner that it points upward means 1 to 2, 2 to 3. So the edge look like 1, 2 and 3 and all edges point upward. So this is step number 4. And the last step is remove all the arrow heads. So the last step is, fifth one is that we have first we have to remove all the arrow head and also the all the nodes will be represented by a single point. This is one, this is two and this is three. So this is how we prepare the Hesse diagram for this particular question. Okay. Now we take another example for drawing to construct the Hesse diagram. In this particular question, we already have a diagraph and now we have to start with the step 2. So because step 1 is construct the diagraph, so we have, uh, we have diagraph. So this next step is that we have to remove the self loop. Remove the self loop. So the graph is A b and c so the remaining edges a to b b to c and a to c okay the next step is remove transitive relation remove transitive relation so transitive relation is if a related to b and B related to C, this gives A related to C. So I have to remove this edge that is A to C. So the graph is A, B and C. So A to B remains same, uh, B to C remains same and I have to delete A to C. Now the next step is arrange all the edges moving or pointing upwards. So this becomes A. B and C and the last step is that I have to remove all the arrow heads and all the nodes and we represent this node with the help of a point that is A, B and C. Okay, So this is how we prepare or we follow the procedure to construct the Hesse diagram for any particular process. In my next video, I am uh, I will show you that how we prepare the Hesse diagram directly without following all these steps. So keep watching my video. Thank you so much.